health insurance. Yeah. There are people here who do not have a job. Yeah. Yeah. There are people here who are living in poverty. Yeah. There are people here who have jobs but have been told to take less. Yeah. Yeah. And I invite you to interview the thousands of other spokespeople who are here at Occupy Oakland. Someone asked me, who is the leader of this organization? <laughs> and I said, we're all the leaders. And we're here. We're all a leader and we're all a follower. We're all doing this together. The media and the power establishment is having a hard time figuring this out. So be patient with them. They're used to just a few people showing up with a few signs and then they go away and have a meeting in the basement of the Unitarian Church. God bless the Unitarians, by the way. Those in charge in this country and the media arm of Wall Street in corporate America, we're not prepared for this to be happening in hundreds, hundreds of cities across this country right now. It has, it has happened with no leaders, no organization, no dues pay, no dues to pay. It's happened organically. From the grassroots, the true grassroots, and in my lifetime, I have never seen a movement like this take hold this fast with this many people all across the country. Thank you, everyone, all of us, for doing this. And there's no turning back, is there? There's no turning back. I was at Occupy Wall Street last night in Zuccotti Park, Liberty Plaza, and I am here to bring greetings from the original Occupy Wall Street. Thank you, Oakland. Thank you, Oakland. Power to the people. All to the people. Power to the people. I said, people. I said what are we going to do with winter coming? There was almost a freezing rain last night in New York City. I said, what are we going to do with winter coming? And they said, there's two guys over there right now who have flown in from Occupy Anchorage. <laughs> and they are here to consult with us on how to make it through the winter. Make it through the winter! <laughs> they said, there's even an ice company in New Jersey that has offered large blocks of ice to build igloos in Zuccotti Park. The mayor and the police and Wall Street are hoping that the winter will kill the movement. In the same way they don't understand that this is a leaderless organization with tens of millions of spokespeople, they also don't understand that weather is not the problem facing us right now. Climate change is facing us. But the weather in New York City is not going to stop this incredible movement. Let me just give you an idea, uh, because I've been traveling the country, what I've seen. Uh, there's a town about maybe 150 miles east of here called Grass Valley, California. Are you familiar with it? Where the hell is Grass Valley, right? No, no I know where it is. I, but <laughs> nobody across the country knows Grass Valley. And of course, the media doesn't know Grass Valley. But last weekend in Grass Valley, there were 400 people participating in Occupy Grass Valley. 400 people. There's, there's only a few things.
5,000 people in the town. All right? And, and everyone was there. Old, young, out of work, people with work. The spread of American society is at each of these. You can see it right now. I can see it. I'm sitting here looking at the mosaic that this country is right now. Right here in Oakland. This is, 